So here we go. Let's graph y equals 6x plus 7, and we're going to do it using a table of values. You could do this with slope-intercept form. That would work as well. Link at the end of the video if you need help with that. So we'll put values in for x here, and then we'll find y, and then we'll plot the points. I always like to start out with 0 here. So if x is 0, 6 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 7, that gives us 7 for y. We could put 1 in here, so we could just say 1. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 plus 7, that's 13, but my graph doesn't go up to 13, so I don't want to do that. Let's call it negative 1. 6 times negative 1, that's negative 6. Plus 7, that just gives us 1. It's kind of nice. And I'm just making these values up here. Any value I put in is going to be on the line for y equals 6x plus 7, but I want values that I can plot here on this graph. How about negative 2? Negative 2. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 plus 7. That gives me negative 5. So these are the points we're going to plot for the line y equals 6x plus 7. So we have 0 is x, y is 7. Right there. Then we have negative 1 for x, 1 for y. Negative 1, 1 could just plot two points. I'd like to do three, and you know you're right. Negative two for x, negative five for y right here, and you can see the line. Let's put a line through that. Then we can put arrows here to show that it goes to infinity. That's the graph for y equals six x plus seven. And any value you put in for x, when you figure out that value there, you get your y. That's gonna be on this line here for y equals six x plus seven. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.